that's not the focal point of our religion. It's here and now. It's this relationship with God. Wow. You don't have to worry about my works because worry about me, you, here and now. Yeah. That'll take care of itself. Amen. Amen. I like that. Yeah, some people some people can say because they don't want to go to hell. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're working for something that you're yeah. trying to get away from. I heard one rabbi say the Greeks teach in a way... Wait, how does it go? Um, uh, oh, uh, uh, what teaches what not to do. Yeah. And, and the Jewish way is how to live so we can live life. What yeah. to do so we can live life. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So it's living in fear yeah. or living in prosperity and abundance because you're following the way exactly. along the way. Um, I just want to sing one song before we leave this place. Um, this song I wrote in the Philippines. Um, okay. Lolo, lolo. Emma, give me one. Tasty. Anyways, I was at this, this special time with the Lord in, in the Philippines, and um, I was just kept on sharing the gospel uh, in, um, down south in General Santo City, uh, the southern one of the southern parts of the Philippines. I try to go every year. I did try to go. I'm trying to travel a little bit less. I don't have another baby. <laughs> um, and I was sitting in my room. Uh, actually, I, I slept in a squatter's village on a dirt floor next to stray cats on the little the box next to me. I'm allergic to cats. And I remember being like, oh my gosh, I'll do anything for you, Lord. But this is crazy. <laughs> and I love the camp. It was just, 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 just crazy. So the next, the next really? stop, they mm-hmm. said, we have a room for you guys, an actual bed. I'm like, this is great. Mm-hmm. So I got into this place, and, and uh, they dropped me off. And they said, I pick you up tomorrow morning, which really means sometime tomorrow. And um, so I lay down. I was so tired. And that, 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 that trip before, before I flew into this next trip to Manila, for this, this stop, we just shared the gospel. A thousand, maybe 800 came up to accept Yeshua, like, like sharing about the power of his name. And he's the only name I wish we saved. And it was just a very victorious trip, kingdom-wise, for me, personally. I was just, and then I finally lay down, I get a real bed, and I feel these little things crawling on me, these little tiny little bugs. Uh. And there's these mites, tiny little white bugs on my bed. And I'd never experienced that before, and I remember just getting up so angry. And it was late at night, you know, just flown in from the other island. And, and I remember just saying, God, how did you let this happen to me? I wasn't like screaming, but I remember being kind of upset with him. But almost as instantly as I said it, I felt this guilt of like, how can I talk to the Heavenly Father like this? I almost felt like I knew he was in the room, and I just talked to him like this. So I decided I wasn't going to sleep. I uh, brushed up a wooden chair in the corner, and I just had my guitar, and I just started just... Only twice have I had a moment like this with God, and this is that time when I wrote this song, and I just started singing this chorus. You are holy. I don't cry much, but I just fall because I just felt like I'm in the, presence, the presence of God, and it's just so special for me. And I was picturing my wife, my daughter Emma, and our other two, two other boys at the time, like three kids at the time, probably. And I uh, and I just said, you know what? I know I'm here. God wants me here, bug bugs and all. <laughs> and I'm just gonna serve you. So I just, just, just read Joshua 24:15. I said, as for me and my house, as for me and my house. We'll serve you, Lord, lifting holy hands in worship. We will not bow down to the gods of man. We will worship the God of Israel. You are holy. Bow to the gods of man. We will not bow to the gods.
other gods. We're reminded that there's no statues here. These gods are dead. These people are gone. Yes. The Amorites, the Amalekites, the Hittites, the Kish, the, 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 the uh, Jebusites but are all gone. The mosquito bites. Yeah. The Israelites are back. And a lot of, it's, it's no, no honor to them. It's, it's honor to you. It's because of you. Yes, Lord. The God of Israel. We, we're here to worship you, the God of yes. Israel. We say today, as for me, as for us in our house, yes. we will serve you. We will do whatever it takes to lead our children, lead our yes, Lord, and lead those around us into into the, the one way to the Father, through the Son. And, yes, uh, Lord. Father, let's pray as we stand here thinking about this. That Just remind us that even though we're in the midst of wherever we, we're from, of people who don't believe the truth, the one way, <coughs> the, way the, 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 the way to the Father, Lord, but that they would, that you would use us, Lord, to be a light. And as Yeshua said, that, that we would be a light the world, Lord, and the gates of hell won't even prevail against yes, this, Lord. and the power of uh, Yeshua's name. Amen. 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 One more song. One more song. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Amen. Amen. Where is our next one? Right here. Um, we're in the only democratic country in the Middle East. We love our democracy and we're going to use it. So, we have three options here. Option A, another song. Option B, sorry. Option B, we take off and go eat something. We're about 20 minutes away from the next spot. Option C, I could, um, there's a teaching I want to do about um, the location that we're in. We'll take 15 minutes and then go back, revert to option A or B. Just depending on how hungry you guys are. I'm hoping for the teaching. And then the song and then the song. More hours in the day. All of the above. I can't, I can't, but the only thing is is the location is specific. It's not actually here, it's not far from here, but we can do it on the bus. It is a worship tour. Unless you don't want to worship. Ah ha 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 Adonai Adonai Elohim Elohim Sebaot Sebaot Adonai Adonai Elohim Like 
him Lion and the lamb See it on the throne, see it on the throne Mountains bow down Every ocean roars See the Lord of hosts Praise Adonai Oh, praise Adonai From the rising of the sun To the end of every day Praise Adonai All the nations of the earth all the angels and the saints sing praise, sing praise Adonai From the rising, from the rising of the sun To the end of every day Praise Adonai All the nations of the earth All the nations of the earth All the angels and the saints sing praise Man, let's cruise. Bam Bam. Daddy Bam Bam. That's what we call him. Oh. Ah, he's happy. He's a tough old. He's an old soul. What's up with that teaching? Oh, yeah. Genesis 15. So in Hebrew, this is called the Covenant of the Pieces. Now this is a, um, I think, a very important message. Uh, sorry, uh, passage. Message, passage. Um, because spe specifically nowadays, because of what's going on in the whole political realm all around the world, uh, people claiming this land, things like that. But um, remember, I mentioned earlier, the land belongs to God. God can give it to whoever He wants to. Now. On the way up here, we talked about Tel Dan, or Tel Dan was Tel Dan, it was a town called Laish, Laish, if you want to pronounce it, Laish in Hebrew. Uh, this was a Canaanite town. We talked about the, the international highways, bless you, coming into the land, out of the land, and we definitely know Abraham would have been active in this area, okay? Now, this story, there are two options where it takes place, depending on the vultures, the story here, and where they nest in the land of Israel. One option, as I pointed out, Mount Dov, which is basically the foothills of the Mount Hermon. That's one option, and if you believe that's the option, you're wrong. But um, the other option, and the only reason why I say that is because, remember, Abraham has already entered the land. Therefore, we are now out of the land, so it makes no sense. Is that better? Yes. For those of you that can hear. Okay. The other option is a little bit further south, but we'll get to that in a little bit. So... I believe the covenant between God and Abraham begins when God says, Lift it, go forth from your house and the people from all this. As soon as he gets up and starts walking, that's the beginning of the covenant. It begins with an act of faith. Abraham never questioned him, he just did it. Okay? That's the beginning of it. But God being God is always going to solidify it and he's going to use language we understand. God can make a covenant with anyone, and he can solidify it however he wants. But Abraham might not quite understand it. So God is going to use a man-made covenant in order to explain this to Abraham and for everyone else to know. Because at the end of the day, we're humans. We need something to grasp, right? So God is going to use a specific covenant. This is a covenant that was done only between kings. Okay? Anyone here have a Bible? Do you want to read it? Would you read it? So we're in Genesis chapter 15. So I'll just get the next sentence you guys can read up in the meantime. And we'll just start here. No, this is on the first one. Just a couple of minutes. So you're going to speak here for a while. He has a twins hat on. Minnesota twins hat on. Oh, twins. Minnesota. Yeah, all right. All right. Hopefully we'll make the cross this year. I think they will. <laughs> we need to start winning and Cleveland to start losing. Yes, exactly. Um, so, uh, this is a man-made covenant, a kingly covenant. Only kings make this covenant. Only kings are allowed to make this covenant. So while you look it up, I'll explain. King of Egypt fights the king of Babylon, let's say. Whoever wins, remember I mentioned yesterday, it's not me fighting you, it's my gods fighting your gods. Whoever's stronger on that day, he's the god that we worship, okay, from here on out. 
and you always solidify it by swearing on the name of that God. Okay? Meaning the Egyptian God, if he loses to the Babylonian, I 